This is Commonwealth Press. Our bread and butter is, is apparel, t-shirts, mostly a print shop. But we also do design and flat stock posters, digital printing, stuff like that. I was a web developer for a company out of Virginia and was going to grad school here in Pittsburgh. And that company was a victim of the dot-com crash. So I just rolled a lot of the things I was doing into freelance. We started, it was just my, me and my wife after I suckered her into helping out. So there's just the two of us and now there's 20 full-time employees. It was crazy because like, as we're working, she starts to show and like, it, she's printing and reaching over the press and getting ink on her belly because it's in the way now. So we've gone from literally a six foot basement, uh, and I'm 6'1", but we went from that basement to uh, this 20,000 square foot warehouse that we own. We came to work one day and someone had thrown a brick through our window. I mean, it was a plate glass window. It's $500 minimum, you know, and I don't have it. So like, I remember picking up the brick and just staring at it, I was so mad. And I remember taking a picture of it, I'm like, Somebody just smashed out our window. I'm auctioning this brick off. Think, you know, maybe we'll get a case of beer for it or something. And then local businesses started chipping in on it. Brick was ended up valued at like $2,200. So we replaced the window and then donated the rest to a charity that was on our block. It started with this moment of like, you could have just been like, screw this, I quit, you know, but like, you realize that moment that like, we're part of this community. As we sit here, this business is 16 years old. I've never traditionally advertised. Everything I've ever done has just been word of mouth. And like, that's why when someone leaves and they, they have a problem, I wanna make sure that I solve it because that's, that's all I have. I've always wanted to make sure that the company that I own is a company that I want to work for. All of our full-time employees have health care. We have matching uh, retirement for them. You can't do that right off the bat, you know, but it's something we've worked towards and we're able to get to that, you know, a couple years ago. And I remember sitting there looking at the paperwork, just like, looking over my wife, just like, man, this is, just felt good. When uh, Amelia, my oldest, was five, she said she wanted to start her own t-shirt company, so she did, and she, she drew a piece of toast and wrote T-O-S-T, it's one of my favorite shirts. I don't know, I just, I just like the fact that they get to grow up in a creative environment where literally whatever idea you have is possible, you just have to figure out how to get there.